With nearly 67% of eligible San Diego now fully vaccinated, many people are wondering if they're going to need booster shots. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at a new study that found booster shots may not be necessary for years. The study looks at mRNA vaccines, so Pfizer and Moderna, which teach your body how to fight the infection. They found that education goes on for months which could mean immunity lasts for years. This is good news for RNA vaccines as a platform for us to be using. Dr. Ali Elabedi says he was pleasantly surprised when his study on immunity found mRNA vaccines could be stronger than initially thought. Unlike other vaccine studies focused on T cells and antibodies in the blood, Dr. Elabedi's team looked at the body's germinal centers, pulling samples from lymph nodes in the armpits. Those areas are considered training camps for immunity-boosting memory B cells. So it's a very unique uh, place where this training is set up. At the end of this training, those cells acquire the ability to become memory cells. The longer that the germinal centers stay active, the more memory cells they create and the longer immunity lasts. In most vaccines, the germinal centers stop training after a couple of weeks. With the COVID vaccines... And we found that the reaction keep, kept on going for at least four months after vaccination. And this is a very good indication for how durable the vaccine-induced response will be. Those memory cells can live in bone marrow for years, leading the team of researchers to believe that immunity from mRNA vaccines can last just as long. Their study was just published in the scientific journal Nature. The study does have some limitations. Because of how complicated it is to get samples out of lymph nodes, they only had 14 participants, but all of them showed the same results. And the study didn't look at the Johnson & Johnson or other non-mRNA vaccines. Dr. Elabedi says those kinds of follow-up studies are necessary and already underway. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.